Officially, a happy new year to you. I'm meteorologist Eve Glazier with your Snow Country Snowcast for the first week of January. And I hope your resolution is still going okay. Our top weather story is this East Coast blizzard that is going to be ongoing Thursday, ending Friday. But the impacts are still felt right through the weekend. So we're going to talk about what days are best to head out and enjoy the snow, how much we'll get. Some of the negative side effects, unfortunately, of what you have to watch out for as you head out. Pretty quiet across the Midwest and Great Lakes, but there's lake effect snow. With no big systems, it's kind of cold and breezy with lake effect. West Coast sees some Sierra Nevada moisture returning, which is the highlight there. We're looking at snow here from Georgia to South Carolina. The blues indicate about 2 to 6 inches. 6 to 12 in the yellows to deeper oranges. That's incredible to see it down into Virginia and North Carolina. This is more lake effect piling on up. This is the snowfall forecast through Friday, January 5th. 6 to 12, again, 6 plus is in this yellow color. And then you look to kind of this deeper orange for a foot plus, which is uh, most likely in Maine, possibly Rhode Island, and into eastern Massachusetts. And we have that heavy lake effect on the backside. Across the southeast, again, 6 to 8 inches here in the uh, color coordination table. 8 to 12 in the parts of North Carolina and Virginia. Also, nice little uh, hot spot, 3 to 6 there for the Alleghenies of West Virginia. It really backs off once you get into the Shenandoah Valley, kind of central Virginia, North Carolina, because this is an east coast storm. And possibly too strong because this low is going to get so deep and so strong in its uh, cent central pressure. It's going to create damaging wind gusts here. This is on Thursday night heading from the 4th into the 5th into Friday morning at low off the coast of Maine. And these purples indicate uh, winds at about roughly 70 miles an hour. Now that's 5,000 feet up in elevation, so a lot of our mountains are below that, but still could get some gusts up to 60 and uh, lift outages, lift delays and closures. Check in with those. There's going to be power outages here and drifting, blowing snow. So definitely before you head out to the mountain and enjoy the snow, check in with the local ski resorts. You'll hear the storm bombing out. That's 24 millibar drop in a low in 24 hours. This will do it in at least 12 hours, so even shorter amount of time, and it may drop as much as 50 millibars in 24 hours. So that's how you know it's a strong storm. And also, eastern Canada, you're looking good on this front in terms of uh, enjoying that, all that snowfall. This is the snow through the upcoming period, which takes us through January 10th. And I do want to let you know here, if I can back up just a little bit, into the southeast and northeast. Uh, so for the southeast, enjoy this this weekend. Saturday, Sunday, cold, but enjoy it. Friday is still going to be iffy, and this storm is still going to make it very breezy here through Saturday and dangerously cold. Sunday's your day there in the northeast to enjoy some of that snow. Now we go back to the west to look at the Sierra Nevada. Take a look at this. You can see nice little colors returning to California, Nevada, California especially. Some in purple indicate 6 plus through the weekly period for Colorado and to Utah, not a lot for the southwest, and modest amounts here. This is a pretty solid 6 to 12, and then 12 plus in this corridor right here for British Columbia and to Alberta and the northwest. Snow levels seven to 8,000 feet, so a little higher. It's more of a rain-snow mix for the upcoming week. It's been very dry in the southwest. My apologies here into uh, Arizona, New Mexico. It looks like it's going to stay that way into these two states. We get, we're getting some moisture, but it's still drier than average for the top half of the four corners. So some moisture coming to the north, but not a lot. Uh, Temperature-wise, we're still updating you here on these cold sub-zero temperatures Friday morning. Uh, sub-zero, Great Lakes, parts of the northeast, upper midwest. And into Saturday, those little circles are record lows that are possible. And uh, definitely the coldest core moves over New England this weekend. That's why you can get out this weekend in the southeast. It's still going to be cold in that snow and breezy. But Saturday, windy with teens below zero for New England. These come with lighter winds in New England on Sunday. So at least that's a day to get out. But well, stay safe in that East Coast blizzard. It's one to watch. We don't get these storms that much that often. I'm meteorologist Eve Glazier. We will see you next week.